good morning ladies and gentlemen myself dr p samuel assistant professor of biotechnology ayanadar janakiamal college sivagasi through this video tutorial i am going to uh, tell you something about the production of uh, tissue plasminogen activator right uh, what is tissue plasminogen activator actually so let me explain it detail in a detailed uh, pattern with the help of uh, the upcoming slides so with this uh, brief uh, details let us move on to the uh, first slide and what is the impact of biotechnology right see biotechnology is actually um, a branch of science deals with uh exploiting microorganisms for the production of valuable compounds or in some other words we can call it as exploiting microorganisms for the production of uh therapeutic compounds therapeutic compounds may be uh insulin interferons uh and tissue plasminogen activator we can call all these different types of proteins as uh, therapeutic uh, compounds or in some other uh, word we can also uh, define the term biotechnology as it is playing an important role in the production of pharmaceutically important products right pharmaceutically important products and actually these products are uh, classified as uh, value added products seems to improve the life quality of human beings right and these proteins are also playing an important role in improving the life quality of human beings right there is another uh, uh, boon to the field called rdna technology or recombinant dna technology is adopted to produce novel products right uh, we can uh, tell many example right uh, for example um, uh, like uh, uh, interferons right uh, insulin uh, growth hormones vaccines right recombinant dna vaccine so all these are grouped as uh, novel products right fine and what is tpa so this is what we are going to see in detail so actually this is a therapeutic uh, protein so what is meant by therapeutic protein as the word implies these proteins are implied are these proteins are used as are used for uh, the purpose of treatment actually what this protein will do this is the protein known to dissolve blood clots right known to dissolve blood clots actually clot is uh, <clears throat> uh, due to uh, the formation of uh, fibrin right actually fibrin is an active form which results in the formation of clot in blood vessels and even in uh, brain right so what actually this tissue plasminogen activator in short it is called as tpa so what it will do it actually dissolve the clot and enable the blood to flow without any restriction right this is what actually uh, the role of uh, tissue plasminogen activator and uh, this is uh, being used in this way in the field of medicine and uh, as i told you it is it dissolves the blood clot added it is categorized as a protease enzyme it is classified as a protease enzyme added uh, this is the region which uh, symbolizes the nuclear dna right just uh, see how complex it is right how complex it is see nuclear dna is is very very complex in nature uh, because it is organized in the form of chromosomes 
and as you people all know that a uh, human being actually contain 23 pairs of chromosome right each chromosome has different set of genes and each gene has a specific function in a biological system in the way the gene responsible for tissue plasminogen activator a protease enzyme is also present in the chromosome of human beings right then so here you could find an illustration which uh, uh, emphasizes there are uh, the complex form of uh, dna called uh, chromosomal dna right chromosomal dna okay so in the chromosomal dna you could find a segment right uh, this is the segment and uh, this is a short uh, stretch of uh, dna which is responsible for encoding the so called protein tissue plasminogen activator right so the dna sequence or the uh, gene sequence responsible for the synthesis of tissue plasminogen activator is present within the nuclear dna of human beings so this is the targeted region to be extracted from the chromosome and uh, it is subjected into uh, further uh, manipulations right okay so how can we produce a tissue plasminogen activator in industry actually uh, this particular uh, protein is produced with the help of a technology called r dna technology which is recombinant dna technology right fine let me highlight it so as you all know that uh, the dna sequence right uh, in the chromosomes are undergoing two important uh, processes they are called as transcription another one is called translation so as a result of transcription process the gene for tpa that is the dna for tissue plasminogen activator is copied into mrna right this mrna is called as transcript right this is called as transcript and this transcript is going to play an important role in uh, the f- uh, upcoming steps towards the production of tissue plasminogen activator so by nature the dna sequence or the gene sequence in the chromosomes are subjected to a process called transcription through which mrna molecule is produced the mrna is single stranded in nature right mrna is single stranded in nature and in the next step the newly synthesized mrna right the newly sim- synthesized mrna are nascent mrna it can also be called as nascent mrna n a s c e n t right nascent mrna this is subjected to another procedure called reverse transcription right so reverse transcription enable us to produce a dna called complementary dna so this is normally different from naturally existing dna molecules in the way that c dna is free from introns so what are called as introns introns are non coding sequences so what are non coding sequences see in the dna you could find both coding as well as non coding sequence non coding sequence as the word implies these areas of dna don't have any specific function function in the sense uh, they do not encode any uh, information for the synthesis of new proteins so they are called as non coding region whereas coding region is a specific sequence which has information about the type of protein which is going to be 
synthesized right so dna has both the region exons as well as introns so the speciality of uh, c dna is it is free from introns because this mrna undergoes splicing process after uh, the transcription phenomenon so once the splicing is over right we will get a mature form of mrna molecule which is free from introns so this molecule is uh, this molecule is treated with an enzyme called reverse transcriptase which will enable us to produce the dna molecule called c dna right complementary dna and this complementary dna is allowed to clone with the plasmid right so what is a plasmid plasmid can be called as ars what are ars autonomously replicating sequence right they do not depend on chromosomal dna for its replication process right so we are going to produce a recombinant molecule here so what is a recombinant molecule a recombinant molecule has two uh different sources of dna right a recombinant molecule has two different sources of dna right so let's see how they are constructing a recombinant dna molecule see these are the three requirements to to, to synthesize recombinant dna we should require a plasmid right we should require the c dna to be cloned and a ligating enzyme right so all these three components are very very essential point number 1 is plasmid point number 2 is c dna and point number 3 is ligase right so using uh, these individual components i mean uh, what's that a plasmid uh, initially right plasmid is cleaved with the help of Uh, restriction endonuclease right plasmids are cleaved with the help of an enzyme called restriction endonuclease so these are uh, site specific nuclease enzyme which will cut the plasmid right which will cut the plasmid or which will cleave the plasmid at specific site after cleavage right this c dna molecule is inserted into the plasmid and ligated with the help of an enzyme called ligase right uh, so for your easy understanding i have mentioned in two different colors so black color symbolizes plasmid dna and this violet color symbolizes uh, your c dna molecule right and these red balls are called as ligase enzyme so ligase is an enzyme used for the fusion of two different sources of dna right plasmid dna as well as c dna right so how a plasmid dna can be cleaved so for this question the answer is in the previous slide right restriction enzymes so restriction enzymes are group of proteins which will recognize the dna at a specific site and cut that area or they 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 cleave at a specific point in the dna right and this is called a recombinant plasmid right this is called a recombinant plasmid and the recombinant plasmid is allowed to multiply into different uh, multiple copies right so for this uh, illustration i have given this is allowed to multiply into different i mean more number of uh, copies once the number of plasmids are uh, enough it is transfected into mammalian cells see transfection is a process uh, of uh, transferring the plasmid dna into mammalian cells particularly eukaryotic cell so in the production of tissue plasminogen activator uh, the protein uh, i mean the recombinant plasmid molecules are transferred into mammalian cells see you could find the number of uh, i mean uh, the recombinant plasmids within the mammalian cell 
so next uh, the cells are uh, treated with a specific uh, nutrient medium which enable the cells i mean in specific the mammalian cell to increase in numbers right the cell number is increased right and once the considerable number of uh, the transfected cells are produced it is transferred into an environment right and an artificial environment called fermenter so what is a fermenter fermenter is a uh, device which provide all favorable condition for the growth and multiplication of the transfected cells so what are transfected cells transfected cells are mammalian cells with recombinant plasmids don't forget so transfection is a process of transfer of recombinant dna molecules into eukaryotic cells once they are successfully transfected and considerable number of transfected cells are formed they are introduced into a artificial environment called fermenta right which is actually an instrument provide all ambient condition for the multiplication of mammalian cells so what actually uh, going on during this process so during this time the cell number is increased as the cell number increases uh, the plasmid number is also increased so within the cell they undergo transcription and translation and uh, the required protein so called tissue plasminogen activator is also produced during this process right see uh, i have referred or i have given uh, red color uh, uh, dots which indicate the production of tissue plasminogen activator within the fermenter itself so after the stipulated time period uh, it is collected i mean uh, the tissue plasminogen activator is uh, extracted or it is separated from the media and it is subjected to a uh, process called purification procedure it is called purification so how they are purifying the proteins right by a common procedure called column chromatography column chromatography or uh, gel filtration chromatography so these two procedures are adopted in the industries to purify the proteins called the tissue plasminogen activator so regarding their application as i told you in the very first slide tissue plasminogen activator has an important role in dissolving the clots right uh, you might have heard about atherosclerosis uh, which which may be due to the accumulation of excessive lipid on the walls of the uh, blood vessels so as a result uh, blood started to accumulate and subsequently which leads to the formation of clots and once this particular protein is injected into the blood vessel it will dissolve the fibrin clot and allow the blood to flow without any uh, hindrance right so it is an important therapeutic protein of uh, great uh, medical importance right uh, i hope uh, uh, the session was very uh, useful to everyone if you have any clarifications regarding the production of uh, tissue plasminogen activator uh, please get back to me right and uh, we will meet in at another uh, video tutorial